All right, students, so today we're going to learn about how we organize our binder. So there's a couple things here you should remember. First, you should have at least about an, um, I would say about an inch and a half or two inch or more thick binder. It should be a binder with the rings in it. You can have a nice cover page for it. And usually a lot of students do that. Remember, it's only one biology binder for the class. You should have only biology stuff in here, so you lose points if you have other stuff for another class like math, English, or anything. It should only be biology. You shouldn't have anything in the pockets. Um, there are some things you might have in the pockets such as study guides and scantrons and things like that but you want to have nothing in the pockets usually. Here we go. First thing you should have is your reading strategies. That will be zero. Second you should have the syllabus. And the syllabus that will be one. And then the being on task sheet that will be two. The hard assessment, that'll be three. That was, I think you printed that out on homework, one of the homeworks. So that's number three. Um, and then you should have the respiratory system 3.5. If you don't have it, it's okay. If you do have it, it's nice to put it in your 3.5, but don't worry about not having this one. Some of you did not take Summer Bridge. Four is the circulatory system packet. Five is this one right here, structure of the heart. Six is a human digestive system, and this is this is really just the whole packet here. Remember this one? That's really six right here. Some of you might have put this one in after, and this one might might be six point five, but really, you just need this one six. Seven excretory system. Eight the neuron or the nervous system packet. nine we have the concept map for the nervous system this is nine ten we have the endocrine system packet and then finally eleven is the immune system packet defenses against infection so that's pretty much all we've received so there's eleven things remember you always want to have the worksheet section first the worksheets or packet section which we just went through right now and then after that, you have the quiz section. Usually, I organize it as quizzes and then exams. So let's go over that real quick. So first, you have a quiz. This was dated back at September, uh, actually, August 15, 2012. That was a 1 out of 10. This was basically on the syllabus. It might have been a half sheet. Some of you might have, might have used a full sheet. Quiz 2 is out of 25. And that was on the 22nd of August. And that's quiz 2. That was... I think it was out of 26, so it might be a little mistake there, but out of 26. And that was labeling and blood flow of the heart. Quiz 3, that was the heart circulatory system quiz, quiz 3. And that was out of 35 points. That was dated on the 27th of August. Then this is quiz 4, daily quiz. And this was 10 questions on the blood the red blood cells, platelets, and white blood cells and what they did. Quiz 5, that was the digestive system quiz and that was out of 44 points. Quiz 6 was on the excretory system and that was out of 17 points. And it was like a half sheet or maybe full sheet for you. Quiz 7 was the nervous system one, quiz 7 right there and that was out of 30 points. Quiz 8 out of 33 points. This was on October 3rd. And that was endocrine system. It's quiz 8 and then we're done. And then finally you should have exam 1. And that is out of 77 points. This is the one you want to review for the um, online retake. The homework section will be online. As you can see, you can actually print that out and it tells you what the homeworks were but I'm just gonna give you a run through of how it should be labeled you should have homework number and at the top and you wanna follow this format if you circle it it'll look really nice and we can find it homework number one there were a lot of parts that um, there were a lot of uh, parts to a homework assignment for example this is still part one or homework one that was part two for homework one homework number two what you learn about the cardiovascular system, etc. 
you got to draw a diagram. Best motivational video ever. I think it was about making mistakes. Abraham Lincoln and Lucille Ball, Walt Disney, Michael Jordan, etc. Homework number three, etc. I won't go over these too much, but I'll you can print out the homework, the homework uh, guide sheet that you'll see online. And that'll tell you what all the homework assignments are, and just check them that you've done them all. And you should have everything. So we're gonna we're not gonna check the notes. Notes usually you have at the end, and that could be in your binder or sorry, in your notebook. So we're not gonna go into the notes, but that will be something we'll be looking at in quarter two and on. I'll be giving you more detailed instructions about what we should have in the notes. But as of now, just remember that we're gonna check all the worksheets, we're gonna check all the quizzes and that you have every exam. Remember you can photocopy quizzes, exams, and all the worksheets. The only thing you cannot photocopy is the homework. You want to make sure you do that originally on your own. That's it. And so have this ready. Make sure your binder is nice and neat and bring that in. Again, this is due on Thursday. And that's it. And you should get all your points. Remember, it's worth 10%. 10% of your grades, so you want to have everything complete. It makes sense to do all your homework every night.